How did your parents feel when you told them you were, you had, well, what, actually, when did you tell them that you were going to like, like <clears throat> do your current, like your channel? Um, uh, I don't know, months before I started it, I guess. When did you tell them like that you were like exploding in the YouTube scene? I just updated them. I don't know. I'd be like, you updated them. Many subscribers. To be fair, I gained really quickly. So it was like. I went from, like most people, there's this period where it's like awkward and like you're not making money and you're, yeah. and like, so it's like, why are you wasting your time playing Minecraft? But with me, it was like, I went from not doing it at all to then, you know, a week later making decent money from it to the point where like Quiet. I could live off of it. So I didn't have the awkward period where my parents w had the chance to be like, you need to focus on real job or whatever, which I'm yeah. sure they probably, they probably would do. But also, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't live with them. So, like when I started my YouTube, I was I moved out. So I was, yeah, I, was no, moved out. I, I remember. But yeah, I totally know what you mean. Like I was always like doing other stuff, so YouTube was never like my only thing. So I never had that like where my parents were like, "You need to focus on other things," kind of thing either. Which a lot yeah. of YouTubers say they go through that kind of experience, especially if they yeah. like pursue. I would definitely recommend to people to, um, and, and you know, I would say I would recommend this with like any type of like side business if you're pursuing it. Um, if you do have like, if you are pursuing like starting your own business or, or doing YouTube or something like that as like a career kind of thing and you have a steady job, I recommend like doing both on the side like together until you like manage to earn enough of an income that you could like quit your main job there's something to yeah keep in mind. 100 yeah. percent. i remember whenever i first what's funny is i remember i for, i remember this is a funny story so i remember I, when i first started so i had before i before i did youtube i was like i saved that I, I worked i worked a job like a full-time job for like obviously this is gonna sound like privileged like oh i worked a full-time job for a year and a half but i worked a full-time job for a year and a half um, that had decent pay and I saved every dollar. Like, I didn't, I didn't spend on anything. I didn't, ha I didn't buy a single like possession or anything. Like I, I uh, had nothing. I didn't spend any money. I just saved. And then mm -hmm. after I saved up the money that I saved up, um, I quit my job and I quit my job preemptively before, before I did YouTube. And I quit my job because I was going to do YouTube. And, um, and also I, I, I did have a, I did actually, the only, the only pay I had at the time was I had a pay from actually from bad from Munchie. Oh, yeah. Because I did development stuff with bad, um, but it was minimal pay. I mean, it wasn't like it wasn't anything I could live off of. Like, if I was to be, you know, like living off of it, it was it was it, you know it wasn't enough. But I quit my job, going okay. I want to I want to pursue YouTube, and I have enough money saved up where if it doesn't work out, then I can always go back. Um, I can always go back to, uh, you know, to my my to working like full time elsewhere, and then uh, it it. At first, because the first couple months, I, I was like, I was preparing stuff, and I was I was mostly trying to dev, because I know there was like a prison reset or something, and I was devving that. And then um, I started YouTube, and I blew up, and then I couldn't get like payment stuff sorted, so I wasn't getting paid at first, and and also I wasn't like even monetized for a little bit. And then um, eventually, when I was paid, it was like four months later or something. I remember like I had no money in my bank account. I had zero dollars in my bank account. I remember talking to Bad, and I was like. I might not have money for rent this month. Like, like Bad, would you be willing to like help me if I got oh, to the situation? I, I remember and that. And Bad was like, yeah, like I totally would. And I was like, okay, <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah. But I had, I was owed money by YouTube, but I, I wasn't, I didn't get paid it. So mm -hmm. I wasn't being like worried about that. Like, oh well, god. Yeah, definitely having a a support system or people who can assist you is a huge help. Like, even if like if even if it's as simple as like you're living with your parents for a certain amount. And like yeah. you can use them to help, you know, maybe instead of putting money towards rent, you, you know, your parents, you're putting money towards something else, like your business or something else. It's like little things like that can help be an investment like into your future. And everybody's, everybody's situation is different, but I, I remember exactly what you were talking about, Dream. Yeah. See, that's, that's crazy. And you blow up like really, really fast. Yes. Even with me, 
if I didn't like, I I got lucky like with how fast I blew up. If I didn't blow up that fast, I probably wouldn't be doing YouTube. Like that sucks. But like, I like putting like my all into everything when I do it. Mm -hmm. And so when I decided to do YouTube, I was like, all right, I'm gonna put my all into it for like months to make it work. And I can imagine like if I had if I had blown up much slower, like it took like you know three four months something for me to blow up. I, I, it sounds bad to say like I would have given up, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't be me giving up. It'd be me being logical and being like, okay, yeah. I need money. <laughs> I need to be able to live and be able know, to eat. Yeah. Need to be able yeah. to eat and pay rent and stuff. So I would have yeah. probably would have not done YouTube. But um, no, I, I totally know what you mean. <laughs> but yeah, no. so I was like, so, but that, that's when I. So even I, I took a risk by like I probably should have. I feel like in some situations, like if you can, it's good to prioritize like youtube and stuff if you if you really have confidence that you can turn it into a career yeah but you need to make sure that like i say like i said i saved up for, be like, smart a, about a year it. and a half and also i'd say before that my whole life like because i lived with my, while i lived with my parents i was i was saving every dollar i mean i i didn't buy almost anything i i played on a laptop i'll tell you this this is another funny story i played on a 200 dollar laptop from i don't know uh from, from when i was like 13 until when I was uh, doing YouTube, my first videos that I uploaded on YouTube on my channel, they're all recorded on a crappy old oh laptop. Gosh. And the first thing I bought with my YouTube money um, was a computer. <laughs> that was the first thing I bought. Like, I bought a computer. I think I remember I like a mic. after you bought that or something, you were like yeah. so excited. And, like, it came in and you were like talking about it. Like I'm so excited. Like, I'm ready to see like what it can do. Like I don't. I wonder how different it's gonna be or something like that. Yeah, I remember yeah. with. With that, like, I I went like all out to like a really expensive computer that's like like the the best I'm still using it, obviously, but it's like the best computer you could possibly get basically. And people were making fun of me like you play Minecraft and you have like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whatever whatever the specs I have. But it's like with me, it was the first purchase I ever made, so I wanted it to be like that. I wanted to be spoiled. I wanted to spoil myself, even though I, technically I, because I needed it for my job, I wasn't really spoiling myself, but I was by making it a very good computer. That was yeah. the first thing I ever. That was the first purchase I ever made with my YouTube money. No, I, I think you've you've highlighted a very important thing that I see. I actually see this a lot with a lot of uh, YouTubers or Twitch streamers kind of miss this. You used a $200 computer and that's that like for years. And that's the point is that you don't need the absolute best equipment to like get started, get started. and pursue started, your goals. Yeah. Now, at some yeah, point, sure. you might need to expand and, and buy better equipment and things like that. But the point is, there's a lot of people who will... I understand, like, if you have no computer or no way of doing it, like, that's maybe, like, okay, in that situation, yeah, you're probably in a situation where you can't pursue something. But if you... There's a lot of people who have the resources, and yet they don't think pursue they don't. something. Yeah, they're like... And that's the point, you don't need like the absolute beefiest machine to become a streamer or i mean i know i know like mr sign. Beast started on recording with his iphone and editing with like um movie maker i'm pretty yeah sure what he says but yeah i i think he's yeah he's mentioned that in some videos but um it's exactly it's like that type of thing so if you have like a passion for something don't let the fact that you don't have the latest and greatest equipment stop you from trying yeah. Because it's it's you're just holding yourself back, um, or I guess don't let your circumstances hold you back.